Because you're in desperate need, so here I am. Right, okay. I've only got four. You'll have to make do amend. Anyway, moustache. <laughs> moustache. Oh, he running dicks. Right, uh, okay. You don't get this entertainment gap supermarket, do you? Later, status. What are we going to do with this? Well, it's got to be something to do with the weather. Hmm. I know. We could ask Wendy Weathers, the weather forecaster. Who? Wendy Weathers. She knows all there is to know about the weather. What's a forecaster? A forecaster means they are predicting or deciding what the weather might be later today or tomorrow or next oh, week right. or next month. And they do, they, they have all kinds of ways of working out what's going to happen. So if I wanted to go for a picnic tomorrow, I could check with Wendy Weathers, could I? Yes, you could. And then she'll tell you it's going to rain because it rains every day. Well, let's have a look then and see what we can do today. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hello everybody, it's Wendy Weathers. How are we all today? Okay, let's get to the weather. Rex over to the palace gardens. 
and then he'll see Dingo the dinosaur and he'll eat him and I will have a T-Rex. Hmm, what will we do for the potion? I know. Start with a jammy torture. <laughs> because they're brilliant. So tasty. Uh, a few marshmallows. One, two, three. Mm. Some cheese crackers, obviously. And of course, some green slime juice. <laughs> he won't be able to resist. been listening to Wicked Soundtrack. Well, it's not good enough. We have a prisoner. Oh, are they for me? No, I'm making a T-Rex attracting potion. What? Huh? What? This will attract a T-Rex to the palace gardens and he'll see Dingo the Dinosaur, our prisoner, in the prison. And he'll come along and he'll eat him oh, no, no, and no. then I'll have a T-Rex. So I know T-Rex is coming in there, Queenie. Why not? Oh, scary. Well, I'm not scared. <laughs> I mean, you might get eaten, but they wouldn't dare eat me. What? 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 Uh, uh, I just remembered. I need to go and uh, cut the lawn outside. Oh, you having a nice day? Yeah, it's fantastic! 
I really like it, Sazzy. Yeah, me too. Who, Who are, are you? you? Captain Crow at your service. <coughs> Go on then, introduce yourself. I'm Shorty Sales, midshipman, if you please. How do you do? Have you finished now? You're not here to tell us off for making sandcastles, are you? No, but I would like your speed. Our speed? Apparently, there's some buried treasure on this beach. And we would like to find it, wouldn't we? Can we help? No, it's only for pirates. You don't look like a pirate to me. Neither do you. I'm more of a pirate than you'll ever be, lassie. All right, then. We'll ask you a pirate question. Mm. And if you get it right, then we'll let you have our spade. Ready? Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! <laughs> that is the worst joke I have ever heard. All right then, we'll give you our spade. Huh? If you buy us an ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, you might be a pirate after all then. What do you think? But Captain, I was saving that for a new eye patch. Oh, give it to them. They'll have to do Spondulex. The what? Spondulex. Give them the Spondulex. Give you the spawn to the celebrate! Job done! Keep it safe, child. Forgotten your spade! Give it to me! Much obliged, yeah. Captain, wait for me! Get digging! Do you think they're real pirates? Well, they're digging over there. Yeah, but you think they're real, though? I do! We're on a beach, aren't we? That's where you find buried treasure. We might be the real pirates, though. Why? We've got real treasure. Uh, yeah? Ice cream! Come on! Is it here? It's been absolutely brilliant. I loved it. I love the beach, Lozzy. Me too. And I love lemonade lollies. What were the pirates all about? They were a bit strange. They're still at it. Now look, digging up the beach. Wow. There's somebody at the door. Groovy letters, man. Oh, we thought it might be you. We've done them, look. We've got... Le 
And... Sir, what do you think? Wow, that's amazing! Oh, I'm getting creative, man! I'm getting a song in my noodle, man! My noodle! My brain! Hang on a minute. <laughs> you have inspired me to write a new song. Let me have a think. I don't know what I... That is the last time I go to that hair transplant clinic in Rochdale. Hang on a minute. I'm writing it now. Aha! It's pure genius. This will go top ten. Are you ready? Lousy and sassy, painting away, looking at letters all through the day. Set is for sharks and shells and sea. Lot is for lions and ladybirds and leaves. Lousy and saucy, my spelling crew. Hey, boys and girls, see what you can do. Thank you and good night. Good night. Good night. See you all again soon. Bye. Move it, move it, peasants. I can't believe I'm in here again. <sighs> Your fault. Why is it my fault? Well, you didn't run when I told you to. Yes, I did. I'm just not as fast as you. I can't help having little legs. Well, maybe you should have your breakfast in the morning. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Let us out! There's no use shouting. No one's coming. <sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Officer Man. Why have you locked us up again? Because you were on my property. Your property? Why is it your property? My property is very precious, I'll have you know. And I don't have passerby strangers coming onto it. Your friend is very cheeky. I suggest she is quiet. Ugh. Right, I'll do you a deal. If you complete the quest, I might set you free. Otherwise, you're going to be here for a hundred years. A hundred years? A hundred years? You won't even live that long. <sighs> Oh, the quest is very, very hard. What are we going to do? No one has completed it, ever. I know all about magic. Now I have these magic pumpkins, I can do absolutely anything. Whish. Well, let me tell you, it's Halloween next week. I'll be doing the trick or treating. Watch it. Hey, for Lupe! 
paper. Yes, they've taken it all. You can get yourself in a sticky situation. <laughs> oh. Not an excellent party. Oh no. Sorry. What? Look what they've done to the bear. Oh no. 